I'm just checking that I've still got my my measurement and it's still 100, 194 at the bottom or the top still 104 so I still maintain it and what I'm going to do I'm going to take out my rulers taking out my rulers I don't need it again right now Are you catching this, the edge line? Quick, but can you see right here the pattern of the red? So what I've done, can you see the pattern on the edge? So I've used that as a ruler. And because I've left quite a lot of fabric in this anyway, I can, I can afford to turn it up again. So I will do, so we're gonna have a nice thickness which acts as a weight in my fabric and I'm using the other pattern see I haven't measured anything all I'm doing is using the pattern as my ruler to make things quicker not all fabrics you can do this some you're just going to have to measure it at this point my shell Pin it down. That's why I bagged it out and did it this way because it makes it a lot more easier to make this. So once again, as I said before, I'm gonna pin it, I'm pinning it down, but I'm pinning it with the pins going down so that the machine can go over it. I don't want to be while I'm sewing, I have to pull out every pin. I can do that later when I finish. Fabric moves, so look at that i've still got my right angle look at that fantastic <laughs> and you know fabric moves as well so yeah still got my you see i'm moving fast for your sake and another day i would have taken my time now it's at this point i'm going to make sure i get all the airs out can you see there's some bubbles in the fabric it's at this point i'm going to get all my bubbles out Get as much bubbles as I can. It's at this point now I'm actually going to do the actual measurement. Now it was I said it was either 39 inches or 40 inches. I'd go for 40 inches. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the top of it up and this is where I'm gonna cut off surplus fabric. Right. it 49 do you know what I'll do it to I'll do it to 41 instead of instead of doing it 39 I'll do it to 41 you know why because it wasn't really fussy about how far I'm going to make this Roman blind but what I will do making it at 41 is to make use of the 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 line that's here to save me working it out so that I'll get a nice straight edge so it's not cheating, it's just being sensible. <laughs> Come on, who wants more work when you don't need it? This top bit here is where the Velcro is going to be stitched to. What time is it? Yeah. So far I've been working on this now for, I think it's an hour and a half. Look at the clock. I think I should, actually I should have told you the time when I started. But I thought, I think I started at three o'clock because I said I want to be do this and get my dinner done. So I've been working on this now for an hour. And you can see how far I've got so far. So now I'm going to cut this top. This top bit here, normally you leave around an inch at the top, but an inch is too much 
Right, but at the moment, I'm going to leave an inch, and then later on when I've stitched the top bit, the Velcro on, then I'm going to cut it off and, be, and put it nice and, uh, and hide all that mess underneath. So, at this point, do you know what? Once again, I've got these lines to work with, so I will use the line and cut it off. And Velcro. Uh, you can use black or white Velcro, I think. You've got to be joking. Yeah, I'm going to use black Velcro because that's what I've got at the moment. Let me show you now. You see? That's where that goes. And when I cut it off, that's underneath it. So, thanks to these lines, I don't need to measure it. <laughs> I told you about working with particular fabric. Right, so I'm pinning these here. Once again, as I said, you put the pins downwards so that the machine can go over it. And we've got to do a little working out. Sometimes this is a pain, but we've got to do it. Now the mechanism goes here. So what I do is I minus two and a half inches. So I take away two and a half inches um, to allow for the mechanism. So here's two and a half inches there. So at the moment I'm going to work with centimeters. So 98 centimeters. Right, so now you can divide it by five, you can divide it by seven, or you can divide it by nine. That's up to you. The, uh, the more you divide it, the smaller the pleats get, and the more it hides under. Now, you don't want to take away too much of your light. Right, so today I will divide it by seven. 98 divided by seven equals 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters. So that's that's my first. Now what I do is 14 and 14 centimeters is 28. So now what I do is I now go up by 28 because I double it. So that's the fold. So 28 centimeters. 28 centimeters. Twenty-eight going all the way up. 28 centimeters and the last one should work out to be 28 mm. Let's have, hold on. 28 right 20 27 and a quarter there it is no, I didn't fix it properly right so, come this side. Now look along here. You see the patterns are matching up. The, the two sides side, right there and there, right so. As you can see here, just a little bit's lost here. Nothing to write home about, but that's quite easily adjusted. All we do is to take it down a little bit. And that's it. And then that's that fix. And the same we do for the top. So this is double checking it. You can see both patterns are there, but slightly out. So what we do is we bring it down. Right, and that matches those two up. So that makes that right. Right. What else now? We're going to check. So we check that. So that's fine. We've still got our right angle. Right angle. So what we're going to check now? Whoops! Forgot. Here we go. 